Welcome back to my Linux tutorials. For this tutorial, I'm going to look at directory permissions. We are very familiar with files permission, but not a lot of people are familiar with directory permissions. And you can restrict a lot of accesses or you can restrict certain accesses for directories just as you do for files. So right now I'm inside of the terminal and I'm currently inside of the tutorial folder. So if I do an ls on this folder, you would see all the files and scripts I created for previous tutorials. I'm going to create a folder inside of this directory and I'm going to use the mkdir for that and I'm going to name this folder ptest and if I do an xls I will see my ptest folder is just created. So I'm going to go inside of the ptest folder using the cd command and if I do an ls nothing shows because this directory is just created so it's going to be an empty directory so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the text.txt file that's inside of the tutorial folder and put it inside of the ptest folder i just created so i'm going to use the cp command for that and i'm going to say dot dot slash and the dot dot slash means to go back up one step so one step up will be the tutorial folder and I'm going to do dot dot slash and I want it to look for the text dot txt file and I want to copy the text dot txt file in my current working directory and to copy the file in your current working directory you can use the dot so the dot mean your current location so I want to copy the text dot txt file from the tutorial folder and put it in my current working directory and that's what the dot means so if I hit enter right now the file is copied so what I can do I can do an ls on that folder and you can see the text.txt file is now in the folder so let's go back to the tutorial folder using the cd dot dot slash because dot dot slash means to go back up one step so when I hit enter I will be in the tutorial folder so now you see that I'm inside of the tutorial folder. Now I'm going to do an ls-al so I can see the permissions for the files and the folder inside of the tutorial folder. Now if we take a look at the ptest folder, you would see that I have read, write, and execute permission, and group and others have no permission at all. And how you know if it's a directory or a file? But the directories will have a D in front of the permissions, and the file will have a dash in front of the permissions. I'm going to display the content, what's inside of the text.txt file. And to do that, I'm going to use the cat command and the name of the file. So it's going to be text.txt. And these are the lines that I have in the text.txt file. So the exact same file I copied over into the ptest directory. So I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to do the ls-al command again. So you can have a visual look of the files or the folders. So ls-al. I'm going to change the permission for the ptest folder I just created using the chmod command. I'm going to change the permission to 444. And 444 is going to give the owner, group, and others read permission only. So I'm going to say chmod 444. And I want to do it on the ptest folder. Now if I do an next ls dash al, you would see that the ptest folder now only have read permissions for owner, group, and user. I'm going to clear the screen. Now that I changed the permission for the directory, let's see what access we have to that directory. So first I'm going to try to go into that directory. So I'm going to use the cd command. I'm going to say ptest and permission denied. So when you only have read permission, you can see the folder, but you cannot go into the folder. So I did the ls and I can see the p.test folder is there, but I just cannot go into it. Let's see if we can display the contents of the file inside of that folder. I'm going to use the cat command and I'm going to say ptest, which is the name of the directory and slash text.txt. And I still get the permission denied error. So I still cannot list the contents inside of that file. Let's see if I can create a file inside of that directory. So I'm going to use the touch command. And I'm going to say dot ptest. So go one step down and look for the ptest folder. And then I want to create a file inside of the ptest folder called ls.txt. 
I cannot create a file inside of that folder because we only have read permission. So we can read the file on our system, but we just cannot do anything with it. If I have read permission to that folder, can I delete that folder? So let's try it. I'm going to say rm r and the name of the folder is ptest. And we should get back an error saying we cannot delete this folder because we only have read permission. So I'm going to hit enter and it says here, write protected directory. So I'm going to hit control C to get back to the terminal. Now let's change the permission to give write permission. So I'm going to say chmod and the permission for write only is 222. And I want to do it on ptest folder. I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to do an ls dash al and the ptest folder now has write permission. Let's clear the screen and let's see if we can display the contents inside of a file that is located inside of the ptest folder. So I'm going to say cat ptest slash text.txt and permission denied. I cannot cat any content that is inside of that file. Let's see if we can go inside of the folder so with only the write permission. So I'm going to say cd ptest and I cannot go inside of the folder. Let's see if I can write a line inside of that text file. So I'm going to use the echo command. So I'm going to say echo. I'm going to put this is line five. And I'm going to use the output operator to append that line at the end of the text file. And I want it to go in ptest slash text txt and I also get the permission denied error. So I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to change back the permission on the ptest folder to chmod755 and I'm going to do a cat on the file to see if the line actually appended and the line shouldn't be appended but I'm just going to do it for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to say cat and I want to go inside of the ptest folder and I want to display the content in the text.txt file. And the line did not append because we appended this is line five and the line did not append it. So let's clear the screen again. I'm going to change the permission for the folder to chmod111, which will give us execution power only. So I'm going to say chmod111 and I want it for the ptest folder. So now if I do an ls-al, now you see that the ptest folder only have execution power, which is the three X's. So let's clear the screen again. So now that I have execution power, can I go inside of that folder? Let's try. So cd ptest and I can go inside of the ptest folder. Now can I create files inside of that folder? So touch and I'm going to name this file rest txt and we cannot create any files inside of that folder because we do not have write permission. Let's go back in the tutorial folder with cd dot dot slash to take us up back one step and actually let's go back into the file and see if we can list the contents in the file. So I'm going to say cd ptest and let's do an ls and we cannot list any content inside of that file as well. So let's go back up one step, cd dot dot slash. Let's see if we can display the contents of the file from my current working directory. So I'm going to use the cat command and I want to go inside of the ptest folder and I want to display the content of the text dot txt file and I can display the content of that file. Can I create files inside of that folder? Let's try. So I'm going to say touch and I'm going to use dot slash ptest and I want to create a file called, let's create a file called y.txt and I cannot create any files inside of that folder as well. Let's go cd into the folder. We have execution power for the folder. So can we copy a file from the tutorial folder and put it inside of the ptest folder. So I'm going to use the cp command to do that. So I'm going to say copy and go one step up. So dot dot slash and look for while dot sh and I want you to put it in my current working directory. 
and I hit enter and you cannot copy a regular file because we have only execution power. Can we execute a script file from the ptest folder? So let's go back into the tutorial folder. So I'm going to say cd dot dot slash. I'm going to change the permission for the ptest file. I'm going to say chmod 755 ptest. So that's the name of the folder. Now that I have full permission over that file, I'm going to do an ls on the tutorial folder and I'm going to copy wild.sh into the ptest folder. So I'm going to say cd ptest and in here and I'm going to do an ls on the folder and I don't have the while script inside of that folder. So I'm going to put the while script in there now using the cp command. So I'm going to say cp dot dot slash while dot sh and I'm going to, I want to put it in my current working directory. I'm going to hit enter. So now if I do an ls on that folder, I would see that the while.sh file is currently in there now. So let's go back into the tutorial folder and change the permission for the ptest file so we can only have execution power. So I'm going to say chmod111 ptest. And if I do an ls-al, you can see now for ptest, I only have execution power. I'm going to clear the screen using the clear command. And because we have execution power, we know we can go into the folder. So let's go back into the ptest folder. And let's try to see if we can execute a script file inside of that folder. So I'm going to execute the script using bash while dot sh and I'm going to pass in the text file which is the parameter of the file to text dot txt and I hit enter and I can execute the file because I have execution power for the ptest folder. So directory permissions is very useful if you want to lock certain data inside of that folder or you want to lock certain files, you definitely can use the directory permissions. Not a lot of people are aware of directory permissions. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and please like, share, comment and the comments will keep me going. So once again, thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial.